Hi guys, it's me, UB Programmer, and today we will see what's the best way to store and load Open API, uh, AI API key or any other uh, credentials which you don't want to expose in public, right? Uh, so uh, before that, I want you to know if you are working on any custom project or you have some idea which you want to discuss, you can fill out this form. Uh, all the links are in the description. Let's start with the video. Okay, so what tool we will be using? Obviously, in Python we will use env. But I uh, believe in any language you will have this kind of setup uh, to store uh, secret credentials like API keys, passwords, admin passwords, and all that. Right. So you have to search for python.env and i don't want you to believe that i know the commands and i run in the uh, powershell just go to this pypy link uh, which uh, stores all the uh, packages of python so every package you can search here and get the command for install that right and even the demo of how to use this okay so uh, we will copy this and you have to just go to your cmd and uh, like if i go to my powershell i can paste it here uh, but i have already installed you can see requirement already satisfied so it will not uh, do that again but in your case if you are using it first time it will install it now what's the concept of this file if you read out this you can understand but i want you to uh, understand uh, through this video okay so dot env you have to create a file now this file will uh, by default be hidden to any user who is not developing the website if they even get your source code they will not get access to this env file here you can uh, uh, define any uh, api key you want so let's say my open ai api key api is something like sk and this is my open ai api key now i want to use this in code somewhere right to in, uh, to connect to my open ai uh, server right to use their api what i can do is to load this uh, uh, variable into my uh, code environment is use that dot env package so i will say from dot env import and load uh and we i believe yes. but we can always go to there so load dot and we right? so always go to their documentation and see yourself what you are writing okay so here it is and if i use this function now load dot env i will be loading all of the variables or all of the keys present in my dot env so let's see if we can run this now how to get access of it right for this now it's in my uh environment so i have to access to my environment so i will be importing os and then if i just say os dot get env that means get the environment variables if i give the uh, same exact name this one it will give me this value let's see okay so we are getting this value and uh, one thing you uh, probably noticed that i haven't defined any type of this uh, just simple copy paste it automatically converted it into this string right which we want to 
uh, use in uh, in the uh, API key itself, right? Because if you copy paste it here, you will be uh, defining it as a string, right? Okay, cool. So that's how you can uh, manage your API keys or any other credentials you have, which you don't want to expose in public. I believe you liked the video. If you are uh, working on any uh, idea, feel free to reach out. Uh, I will see if we can collaborate on anything. Right? Thank you for watching. I'll meet you in the next one.